Let's go to Romans 12, 14 through 21. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Bless them which persecute you. Bless and curse not. So what does that mean? Do good to people even when they do, they do bad to you. So you don't have to do evil towards a person because they are doing evil towards you. 15. Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. So what is that saying? Be very understanding of people. Be compassionate to them. 16. Be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceits. So what is that saying? So let's go to 16 in the expanded Bible. Live in peace, harmony with each other. Do not be proud, arrogant, haughty, but make friends with those who seem unimportant. Associate with the humble, those of low social status, or be willing to do lowly tasks. Hold on. Do not think how smart, wise, superior you are. Okay. 17. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. So this is saying the same thing as 14. Just because someone does evil towards you does not mean that you have to do evil toward them. It does not mean that. So you defeat evil with doing good. You don't defeat evil with more evil. Which some people try to do that. And it never works. Okay. 18. If it be possible as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. So live in peace with everyone if it is possible. 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. So this is saying, you don't have to seek out for your revenge because God is going to avenge you. So if you decide to get down in the dirt and try to get your revenge, God is going to punish you because when you do bad, bad things are going to happen to you. When you do good, good things are going to happen to you. Or should I say, when you do bad, more bad things are coming your way. When you do good, more good things are coming your way. Some people call it karma, but it is really the law of reaping and sowing. Okay, so let me tell you this story. A while ago, I had this enemy, and this person was really treating me poorly. Yes, this person did some kind things for me, but this person was really treating me poorly. And I know what the Bible says about how to treat your enemies. So I was buying my enemy gifts. I bought him one gift and I gave him something else. Actually, I gave him some other things as well. And I was being respectful to this person as well because I know that it was a matter of time for God to avenge me I knew it so within a week or so guess what this person got injured surprise no I was surprised that it happened that quickly though but <laughs> I was thinking maybe a month or somewhere around there, you know, but this person got injured and while this person was injured, I had to help this person. 
and his attitude kind of changed a little bit. But when he healed up a little bit, his attitude went right back to the way that it was. So I was thinking, like, what is wrong with you? Like, you don't learn too quickly, I guess. So, I believe some other bad things happened to that person, but I did not want, well, <laughs> toward the end, I did not want any bad things to happen to that person. <laughs> but at first, yes, I wanted God to like make this person stop being this way toward me. But the thing that really shocked me This person called me maybe a month or two later and when he called me <clears throat> he apologized if it was possible my eyes would have gotten this large like seriously if it was possible because I was shocked this person apologized to me and he called me maybe three or more times and almost every time when he called me, he apologized. <laughs> Shocked. <laughs> and not only that, he was offering me to go out to eat with him. So apologizing and offering me to go out to eat with him. On top of that, explaining why he was doing what he did. <laughs> See, this shows you that God is going to avenge you. So you don't have to worry about how a person is treating you because eventually God is going to get to that person, whether you see it or not. This goes to show you Verse 20, Therefore, if thy enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. So, when your enemy does something wrong to you, you don't have to hold a grudge against your enemy because God is taking care of your enemy. He is punishing your enemy. So, you don't have to say, Well, if I do kind things for my enemy, all that is going to happen is, that person is just going to abuse me more. Not necessarily true. Not true. Because after so many punishments, that person is going to realize, hey, when I treat this person wrongly, these bad things are happening to me, so let me stop. <laughs> okay. So, 20. Therefore, if thy enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Give me a second, please. So, what is that saying? When you do good to people, while they are doing bad to you, after a while, they are going to feel ashamed of what they are doing. They are going to feel ashamed. So eventually, they are going to feel ashamed and stop. This may be a way that you can bring that person to God, to start serving God. Because many people, <clears throat> can tell others about God and stuff like that. Many people are not going to accept it because there have been many people who speak things about God, but the way that they act is differently from what they are teaching. Like people are telling you to don't steal or don't fornicate or 
don't do this wrong and stuff like that but at the same time they are doing the same things as they are telling you not to do hypocritical so people are watching your actions more than your words so the way that you can bring someone to Jesus Christ is by acting like a servant of God doing the rules and regulations of what the Bible say to do because if you don't how are you different from them you aren't you are a sinner as they are just because you dress up as a Christian or you look like a Christian or you act like a Christian does not mean that you are obeying God you are just an imitation of a servant of God and many sinners see that this is why they are watching not so much listening you may be saying the truth and everything but what good is the truth when it is coming from a hypocrite makes sense right so if you are going to do wrong don't teach get right first how can a hypocrite teach about God think about that crazy okay so like I was saying in verse 20 when you do good to people who do you wrong they are going to feel ashamed so this is a way that you can bring this person closer to Christ because that person is going to treat you right sooner or later verse 21 be not overcome of evil but overcome evil with good so the only way that you can defeat evil is by doing good you don't defeat evil with evil because when you do that when you fight evil with evil more evil is going to spring forward you defeat evil with good that is the only way I really hope that makes sense evil with evil is wrong <laughs> Really take heed to this. Really take heed to this. God bless.